Here's the birthday girl. How are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the regularly scheduled meeting of Ways and Means Committee. John Quincy, the chair, joined by Councilmember uh, Yang uh, Johnson, Bender, and Council Vice President Glidden. Um, there are, let's see how many items we have today. Pretty full item. 36 items on our agenda. First item is a public hearing, which we'll get to as we can look at the uh, other items first, if that's all right. Uh, there are five, uh, five items from the city attorney's office, a grant acceptance from the Minneapolis Downtown Improvement District with contract amendment for Downtown 100 and Focus 18 to 24 agreement. Then there are four legal settlements associated with their report. The city coordinator brings forward two items. One's an amendment to a cooperative agreement with community engagement energy efficiency pilot projects as well as a gift acceptance to att at, of attendance at events at the 2017 Super Bowl. Planning and Economic Development brings forward one, it's in a contract of extension between Hennepin County and the City of Minneapolis regarding the Office to End Homelessness. Finance and Property Services has four items, a contract amendment with Metropolitan Emergency Services Board, a 2016 fourth quarter gift and donation acceptance report, uh, approval of bids for the outdoor warning siren installation project and a resolution allocating proceeds from the 40th Street West and France Avenue South land sale to the water fund. Information Technology Department brings forward two items. It's a contract amendment with um, Arite uh, Accenture and Integra Rhythm for ServiceNow expansion, a donation of decommissioned computing equipment to select nonprofit organizations. Intergovernment Relations Department brings forward a contract amendment with Lockridge Grindle Nowen for aviation related federal representation services. The Neighborhood and Community Relations Department brings forward a contract with Certified Languages International for phone interpreting services. Police Department brings forward a contract with Counterterrorism Education Learning Lab, otherwise known as CELL, for Train the Trainer Special Event Community Awareness Program. Uh, the Community Development and Regulatory Services Committee has five items. Uh, grant acceptance through NSP and uh, Minnesota Housing Finance Agency. We also have the city's loan asset policy change. We have a Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development Redevelopment Grant program applications. Uh, item number 22 is the 2016 Metropolitan Council Livable Communities Demonstration Account and the Transit Oriented Development uh, Grant Awards that authorizes acceptance and appropriation for those programs. We also have the contract amendment to the Target Center renovation to allow for additional non-city funding for that project to come forward. The Public Safety, Civil Rights, and Emergency Management Committee brings forward four items, a bomb disposal unit grant acceptance, a grant, uh, agreement with the University of Minnesota for use of the full field house for Minneapolis uh, Police Department SWAT training, the grant acceptance from the Joyce Foundation for Pol Police Community Engagement, and a contract amendment with Robert Half International for transcription services. Uh, Transportation Public Works has nine items, the 4th Street Southeast uh, reconstruction project and street lighting project. We also have the 4th Street Southeast um, reconstruction and street lighting project. This is the one portion from Malcolm Avenue and 29th Avenue. We also have the 18th Avenue Northeast uh, reconstruction project, as well as the storm sewer cleaning contract amendment with Vortec HydroVac Inc. Ready mix concrete amendment with Sumstone impound lot auction services, impound lot towing contracts, and two bids. One is for the Columbia Heights filtration plant partial roofing project and an upgrading of the programmable logic uh, controller. Are there any questions on the consent items uh, two through 34, five? Not seeing any. All those in approval, please signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, those are approved, thank you. It takes us now to the public hearing which is an acquisition of real estate, um, 3100, 3112 2nd Street North for municipal operations purposes. Please introduce yourself. Welcome to the committee, and we'll begin uh, with a staff report. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chair Quincy and council members. My name is Rebecca Law, and I'm a project manager in property services. We've been looking for a suitable warehouse for a couple of years to solve the various storage needs of the city. The most notable need, and the one with the greatest urgency at this point, is for police storage. 
Uh, we have located this particular property at 3100 2nd Street North, and we've sent some due diligence teams in to evaluate it. And we've, um, it's three acres with about 70,000 square feet that would allow us to accommodate the storage needs of multiple departments. It would also allow us to quickly move the property that's currently stored in the Grain Belt Annex out of there so it could be freed up for redevelopment. It's located close to public transit, and we've already budgeted $4.2 million in the 2017 budget for acquisition and development costs. We would request that you conduct a public hearing, um, and I'm open to answering any questions. Good. Are there any questions for Ms. Law before we begin the public hearing? Not seeing any. Thank you very much. And I'll just open the public hearing on this item. See if there anyone anyone wish to speak? Anyone? Anyone? I'll close the public hearing. Any questions or comments? I'll be happy to move this item for approval. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And that item is approved. Thank you very much, Ms. Law, and for FPS, for staff, for bringing that forward. And uh, that is the exhaust our agenda, so we are adjourned. Thank you.